We'd like to welcome everybody out to our next episode of Surprise We Both Love Movies. This week, we're going to be doing a review for a brand new movie on Netflix called Hubie Halloween. Hubie Halloween stars Adam Sandler and everybody else. Lamont, go ahead and tell us what this movie's about. All right. Well, Hubie is a kind of Milton from Office Space type of character. He's jumpy. He's the nicest guy in the world. He carries around a super thermos everywhere that has special abilities, and he's the butt of everyone's jokes. Even the kids make fun of him in this place. He scares easily. He's never had a girlfriend. He's over 50 years old. He still lives with his mom, and he's put himself personally in charge of Halloween safety in this small town where they live. Then suddenly people start our people turn up missing and Huey feels like he needs to figure out what's going on. And so that's the basic premise of Huey Halloween. I know you had a chance to watch it. Yes, I did. You don't watch a lot of Adam Sandler movies. We, no, we I don't. had this discussion. Aaron has only, how many Adam Sandler movies have you watched I now? think I've maybe seen two or three. It, there's a reason for that. I'm not a silly. There, there are two genres of films, just so everybody knows this for the future. Yeah. There are two genres yeah. of films that I don't really enjoy. One of those is comedies. I don't find a lot of movies truly funny. There have been some movies that have come out. A lot of people really like universally, and I did not like. Uh, so movies like um, There's Something About Mary, I despise that movie. And also The Hangover. These are a couple of movies that wow. I just, I can't stand them. I, I just don't wow. find them to be funny. So I'm not a silly comedy type of person. Now, the other genre I don't really care for is horror. So what's funny is this movie is a little bit of both of those. Uh, <laughs> now, I went into this movie knowing it was a silly comedy, and I thought it was going to be terrible. And you know what? It wasn't. I think this is a movie that everybody deserves right now. And I'll be honest with you. I'm going to talk about what worked and what didn't work. What worked for me was this was a total break from reality. Like you said, I think one of the best aspects of the movie was his thermos, right? His thermos could do everything. Okay. It was a vacuum. It was a, a grappling hook. It was a, you know, um, uh, an umbrella. Yes. It did so many different things. And you'll get how quirky this movie is going to be in the opening sequence when he's riding his bike down the street. People start throwing stuff at him, and he can dodge, and he can do amazing things with his bike. He's, like, very agile. And you know right away what kind of movie this is going to be. And if you can let go and let that happen, I think you're really going to enjoy this movie. The acting was great. The amount of characters in it was a lot of fun. I really liked how colorful it was with everybody who was in the film. And I th it fits. It's the right time frame. It's Halloween right now. This is a perfect movie for Halloween. It had a little bit of that intrigue. And I'll be honest with you, I don't laugh at comedies very often. There were about five different times in this movie where I laughed, and a couple of them were pretty freaking hard. So I found the movie to be pretty funny. But it's right, not so, so here. So, you know, I, I think that it's worth noting that this is totally a family movie is what I would say. Yes. Really little, little kids. But if you've got kids, maybe I'd say about 12 and up, you can sit down and you can watch something that turns out to, you know, have an interesting or I should say an OK story. It's funny. Your kids will find things funny. You'll find some things funny. It's kind of uh, like Looney Tunes, you know, where you were a kid, your parents laughed at some other one point, and then you laughed at the physical humor. That's kind of how this movie is constructed. It's a very family fun kind of movie. To a degree. To so a degree. I, liked, I liked the story. I liked the acting. There was never anything in the film that took you out except for there was one bit of dialogue that I think kind of jerked me out of the movie. And this is where the fault comes in the film. This was meant to obviously be a family movie, but it wasn't entirely family. No. Or his brother in the <laughs> film. Yeah. Every time you saw her, like the, she was in it quite a bit. And every time you saw her, she had a different shirt on. And her shirts were extremely inappropriate. <laughs> in your if you have little kids that window. can't read. <laughs> in your window. <laughs> if you have little kids. <laughs> if you have little kids that can't read. It's going to be okay. But if you have kids that can read and they're in that age group, they're going to start asking questions, okay? So, 
I don't know if they'll ask questions. Yeah. Either they'll laugh, they'll think it's funny, or they won't. If you want to figure out how <laughs> how much your kids know about sex when the character comes on, look at your kids and see if they smile, then you know how much they know. <laughs> yeah, but that was probably the, mo- the worst part of the movie. Now, there was also one joke that I thought was very misplaced and did not – it really kind of jerked you away from the happy feeling you were having. And it's when this nun comes out and she's out on the road looking at a girl and she says something like, I'm asexual and that girl makes me hot. And I was like, what? It was like thrown in there in a scene that just, it didn't fit the movie. And I'm like, why? Would you throw that in the middle of the scene? It didn't fit. But that's an Adam Sandler movie. That's what he does. You just haven't seen enough of these movies yet, Aaron. No, I have. And and no, I have not. The only other movies I think I've ever seen by him is I saw The Water Boy, and I don't remember anything other than Rob Schneider and The the Wedding Singer. Oh, yeah, The Wedding Singer. And I love The Wedding Singer because that is a a very good 80s movie. It, It brought the 80s feel in. So. I like that movie a lot, but outside of that, I haven't seen any of his movies. So those, everything worked except those things for me. Other than that, I thought the movie was good. It was a little long, but there were some funny moments in there. So what, what did you like and what didn't you like? All right. So what I did like is, like I said, for the most part, you could sit down with your kids and you could have an enjoyable experience. Now, what I didn't technically care for was that I didn't find it personally fun, that funny. I wouldn't say even up until I had a couple little smiles here and there. There's some little subtle things that he threw in there, Adam Sandler style. But overall, like as far as his library of movies, it's not one of the more funny ones. All right. So kind of if you know that and you're like watching it with the kids, you'll be okay. But if you're just going to sit down and watch it for yourself and unless you're just really are looking for something that's Halloween (laughs) themed, I would probably find something else to tell you When I really started to enjoy this movie, I was kind of struggling for a long time. And then about the last 30 minutes, you know how he has his usual cast of characters. He has a lot of the same people in a lot of his movies. And when the Sha- Shaquille Neal's in this movie briefly, and when he comes into the movie, then I, <laughs> that's when the funny started for me. Yes. But that, wasn't, that was almost not until like towards the latter half of the movie that that happened. And then it, it really started, you know, it's, they really started rolling strikes after that but that was only like 20 or 30 minutes left in the movie. So up until that point, uh, it was a very much a dud for me. And then at that point, that kind of brought it back into, you know, into form, into a lot of the movies that you see with him <laughs> in it. So, you know, with that said, Aaron, and having, you know, I've seen several Adam Sandler movies, this is definitely towards the bottom. But overall, what did you think of the movie? And give, give us your score. I enjoyed it. I would give it a seven. So, wow. Yeah, I would give it a seven. It, I found it to be just sit back and enjoy. It takes your cares off the world. They created a very silly, it, it was a silly gateway to a different place is what I saw this movie as. And I think it did well. Was it absolutely hilarious? No, but there were about five times where I did laugh out loud. Um, mm-hmm. The funniest thing for me was the Shaquille O'Neal. Um, I'm not going to say what happens, but it was, <laughs> it was pretty funny. Um, there were also some surprise cameos in this movie that were pretty funny, uh, but it's not a hilarious movie. It's not something where you're going to go bust out laughing the whole time, but it's a silly, fun family film that you can just go and enjoy. So I'd give it a seven. It's not bad, but it's not great. It's, it's right in that that kind of in-between spot uh it, it, as a film score it doesn't get one <laughs> no film score whatsoever all right for me uh, i've seen lots of adam sandler movies and unfortunately i would give this one a five out of ten it was really just not up to par not you know it was still entertaining you're not gonna feel completely jipped but if you want to watch an adam sandler movie There's probably at least 10 other ones that are much more funnier and much more entertaining. (laughs) And the character he plays in this really didn't really hit it out of the park for me. It's, you know, it's kind of a voice that he does, but it extended it it for a whole hour and, you know, 30 minutes, you know. And by the time, you know, you watch him do this voice over and over again, it kind of is played out. So for me, five out of 10 stars, like I said, no film score. It's not bad, but it's 
It's not horrible, but it's definitely not one of his best. It's timely. It's it's definitely something that you would only watch during Halloween. So that's why it's there. And I like I said, I think it's there to just grab people and pull them away. But I did <laughs> like the story. I did like where they went with the story and the the supernatural aspect of this. And then the end is kind of there's there's a couple things that happen that are funny, but I thought it was a worthy ending. But is it a masterpiece? No. And that's why I put it at seven. Five for me would be a movie that I would never watch again. I would watch this. Exactly. Movie. I would not watch this again. <laughs> it was a five. That's why I gave it that score. <laughs> you are correct, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> So that's our review for Hubie Halloween. We appreciate everybody tuning in to watch the video this week. If you haven't subscribed to us on YouTube yet, please do so now. You can find that icon in the lower right of the video. I'm Aaron Fisher. And I'm Lamont Lovejoy. And until next time.